why was in Iraq when they were negotiating the Constitution? Two thousand and five. Yeah, really, two thousand and five, after the first election. Yeah. So I saw that uh, Sayed Amar El Hakim visited Irbil, maybe last week. And his family, I know, has a good reputation in Erbil. Yeah. So I know Mustafa Kazemi. I He was my friend 10 years ago when I was in Iraq. And uh, I like him very much. And uh, I think he is a person of goodwill. And uh, he's in a difficult position. Yeah. So the, the real challenge, I think, is to help people like Mustafa. I think that in Iraq, the, the Hashid are trying to improve their political legitimacy. And so they are criticizing Turkish presence in northern Iraq, and they are criticizing the American military presence in Iraq. And Turks and Americans both are present in Erbil province. It's a good question. The new Biden administration does not want a new war in Iraq. It does not want to spend too much time on the Middle East. Its foreign policy priority is more China and East Asia, or second priority would be Russia, and third priority probably is climate change. So the Middle East is not on this list, and the Biden administration does not want to fight a war or not fight a new war in Syria. The question is how to deter attacks on the American forces in Erbil and how to deter attacks against our friends in Iraq, like uh, uh, Kurdish region. I think it will be necessary for the Biden administration from time to time uh, to send a signal to Iran by using limited military strikes. I'm sorry to say this, but probably what is going to be necessary for the Biden administration is to pursue negotiations with Iran about clear and at the same time to resist and challenge Iran on the file about regional intervention by Iran. Uh, the Biden administration will be uh, interested in what is happening in Iraq, but to be clear, Iraq will not be a priority. And I think the Biden administration will want to work with the Kurdish region in Iraq, but they will always work uh, with the Kurdish region in the framework of also working with the state of Iraq, so that they will want good relations and cooperation with the Kurdish region. At the same time, they have cooperation and good relations with the state of Iraq. The Biden administration will want both. Yeah. Um, I was in Iraq and in Baghdad uh, during the constitution negotiations in 2005, and I remember that the negotiations often were very difficult. Uh, and so I have sympathy 
with uh, Iraqis, Iraqis in North Iraq, in er Iraqi Kurdistan, and I have sympathy with Iraqis in other parts of the country. I should not give advice to Iraqis about what they should do, and I should not give advice about uh, what the Kurds should do. You are smart people, and uh, you will find your answers. My only advice would be to continue to talk all the time and to listen uh, to your friends in Baghdad. And there are, are, are many friends in the Kurdish region in Baghdad. And so I think my only advice would be to find and listen to friends and work together to solve uh, the difficult problems like the budget and how to manage the petroleum sector. I know these are difficult issues. Well, um, I am not an expert about Iraq history and I am not an expert about Kurdish history. I remember in 2004, the first um, Mam Jalal, uh, he gave me a book about uh, Kirkuk and the history of Kirkuk. Um, I still have it um, behind me on the bookshelves. Uh, when we think about 2021, I think the most important thing for our friends in the Kurdish region is that they continue to talk to the people in Baghdad. Negotiation is always difficult, always. Here in America, we are having very difficult negotiations also about our budget and about our constitution. Uh, but it is better than fighting. And I especially hope that our friends in the Kurdish region and in our friends in Erbil um, will be able to help build a coalition in Baghdad that can find a solution to the problems. What I mean is that not all of the uh, people from the other parties in Baghdad are united. And it is usually possible to build a coalition uh, of parties from southern Iraq as well as northern Iraq um, bit by bit, one representative, one na'ib by one na'ib. And, and, but it takes time and it takes negotiation. I think the Biden administration will continue to uh, provide training and help to uh, Peshmerga in uh, Kurdistan. And I think they will also continue to provide training and help to Iraqi government security forces with the purpose of helping uh, Peshmerga and Iraqi security against Daesh, uh, and also with the purpose of helping to rebuild a powerful uh, and safe Iraq, but this will be gradual step by step by step. My pleasure. I hope it was clear.